My friend and fellow funeral director, Mr. Bill Stitzworth, down in Eden, Enid, Oklahoma, has asked that I do a few videos to accompany some of the pictures that I've posted onto Facebook. Now, my wife, she's getting over a bad case of VD, or trying to get over a bad case of VD. Not what you're thinking. She's a florist, Valentine's Day, the season of love and lust. So I'm sure there is a lot of VD passed around. <clears throat> anyway, she's got herself a nasty, nasty cold. And so today, I could go to the grocery store and buy her some cough drops, but it's kind of more fun to make them. So today, I'm going to demonstrate Elton Brown's recipe for uh, lemony love lozenges, which is found in the Good Eats cookbook, the very first cookbook of his. Some of the hardware you're going to need today, a four-quart saucepan, a digital scale. If you don't have one of these locally, you can go to Minot Restaurants, or excuse me, to Gourmet Chef. I know they carry them. You will need a plunger, measuring cup, a regular measuring cup, a candy thermometer, and a teaspoon and a uh, microplane. These are ideal. You can uh, microplane lemons, you can use it on onions, you can use it on garlic. You can do your fingernails too. So anyway, the software we have today is one pound, 16 ounces by weight of regular old sugar, 12 ounces by volume of honey, a half cup of water, and the zest of one lemon. This will actually get incorporated a little bit later in the recipe. So what we'll do here, put in your half cup of water, and pound of sugar, and these plunger cups are awesome. Because if you did this in a res regular measuring cup, you would leave about a quarter cup in, in the cup. And there you have it. Now we'll put this onto the burner and turn it on to medium heat. With candy making, there is the element of time. Your patience will be rewarded. Don't be in too big of a hurry and do not stir that. And we got that on medium heat and we once it comes up to a boil, we're gonna cover it for five minutes and then take the cover off and stick the candy thermometer in. We have now reached a boil. So we will stick the cover on for five minutes. Five minutes of TV time has gone by. It's now settled down in the pan. In the recipe, he says to take it to 295. We are actually going to take it just over 300, which is the hard crack stage. This goes on to there, and we wait. Now, a little bit of the food science. We're actually using two sugars in here. And the reason you typically use two sugars in candy making is you want to avoid the dreaded crystallization. If you use just one type of sugar, it has a tendency to want to crystallize. Now what's happening here, if you can see the steam coming off, the water is basically exiting the pan. We stuck a half cup of water in there. There's also water in the honey. And that is going to leave the pan. And as you, you know, water boils it 212 degrees. We're going to take this up to 300. So as the more water leaves the pan, the temperature will increase. We have now reached just over 300 degrees into the hard crack stage. So we are now going to pull this from the heat 
and set the timer for five minutes. Five minutes of time has gone by. You want a workstation set up. I'm using cooling racks under here. If your countertops are at all sensitive to heat, you want to make sure you're not directly on the countertop because this stuff is still right around 300 degrees. I, we have parchment paper here. There is a definite difference between parchment paper and wax paper. You do not want to use wax paper for this. Now, we got our mixture there. This is the zest of one lemon. Put that into the mixture. And stir that. Use a wooden spoon. You'll hear a little popping and fizzing going on. Don't worry about that. You want to use wood because wood does not transfer heat and uh, cause any crystallization. Now we have our teaspoon. Now with this, as it cools, it is going to start setting up. So you want to work relatively quickly. Just start dolloping it out, a teaspoon at a time. Trust me, I have burned my knuckles on more than one occasion when I have made these. You want to be careful not to get your fingers into the goop because it is very, very hot. If your hand starts getting a little tired from holding the pan, rest it on some heat resistant stuff, but keep it at an angle. There you have it. We have all kinds of lemony lozenges of love. Now, one thing I do want to note, you're probably looking at that and thinking, Lord God, how am I going to get that sticky old mess out of there? Now, again, food science, just put all of your gooey stuff in there. No need for scrubbing, just fill it with hot water. Put a little bit of soap in there and just leave it sit and the higher crystallized higher levels of sugar will go to the lower levels in the water in other words it will dissolve and clean up like a snap as far as storing these put them into a container and separate the layers uh, with either wax paper or parchment paper and pull them out as you need them and hopefully these will help my wife's cold so she feels better and doesn't cough. Have a good day. Thank you.